We need, we really need to involve ourselves in the history. We need to plunge into it and uh, revel in the fact that this is the oldest civilization on earth, has the oldest buildings on earth, and as a result of that fact um, is the source of the invention of society. My name is Bruce Pascoe and I'm a Ewan Bunurong Tasmanian man and I'm a writer and now I'm a farmer. It's really quite incredible. I was completely surprised to learn that Aboriginal people built dams, that Aboriginal people um, preserved food, um, you know, altered trees, did all this incredible industry. Um, and, you know, I was, it took, it took years to trawl through all the public documents and I was just shocked every day. I shocked by my own ignorance and my lack, own lack of curiosity. That's the thing that hurt me most. It was, I hadn't asked the question. I hadn't queried what I'd been told. And that's what good students are supposed to do. There's so much to learn about those inventions. Like the fish traps were monstrous. Uh, they weren't just a single trap, they were systems. And they were ingenious, but they were also egalitarian. Everybody got fish, and fish was allowed to go upstream. Not like today's fishery, where we plunder a, uh, a fish resource until it's gone. The Brewarina fish trap was designed in such a way that the fish could go upstream and breed, which Aboriginal people knew was required, but also they knew there were Aboriginal people upstream of them that needed those fish. So it was important to remember that um, these were uh, inventions of ingenuity that European uh, scientists didn't think they would work. I remember in the 70s uh, people speculating that oh, this, you know, this is not really a, a fish trap. You know, we don't know what it is but it's not a fish trap because they couldn't see how it would work hydrologically. And then there was a flood and all the eels just followed the old fish traps and went to where they were supposed to go. It was a piece of genius. And, you know, <coughs> modern, modern engineering had kind of declared it a, a failure. On the Murray River, a young man was seen utilising an automatic fishing machine, which would pluck a fish out of the river, dump it in a basket behind him, and then all he had to do was reach over and reset the trap, and it would do it again. Every time a fish went through that noose, it triggered a movement which brought the fish out of the river and dumped it in the trap behind, you know, and the man who saw that, uh, James Kirby, said, I'd always heard that Aboriginal people were uh, the laziest people on earth and watching a man fish in such a lazy manner convinced me that that was true. It's the way Australia has looked at Aboriginal society from day one. Um, our prejudice is so virulent that we see a, a piece of engineering and we call it laziness. We don't do that when we invent a tractor with GPS systems that can drive all night in a straight line, we call that industry. You see an Aboriginal people utilising industry, you call it laziness. That's what Australia has to reconcile. Uh...